Prince Paget's arm was off right in his shoulders. I've seen him throw a minute of 50 cents in someone's hat bagging money. But uh, he loaded coal with one arm, and the only reason I'm not loading coal today, he loaded more coal than I did, and I quit. But here's the way he did. He put his shovel right under here. His shovel fit right under here. And his arm went work like <laughs> And you talk about loading coal, that man loaded coal. But <laughs> that's the truth if I ever told it. And uh, I quit loading coal. He, he, I loaded coal with him three days, and he loaded more coal than I did every three days. The whole three, the three days I worked with him, I loaded more coal, coal than I did. And I was, I drove it. We're going back to the Chaz Walker doing, way of doing business. We're going to be buying everything as cheap as we can, sell it as cheap as we can, and to hell with everybody else. We're not going to be spending no money on nobody but Chaz Walker's business. Now, if you know of anything they've got us beat on, tell us about it, and I'll send one woman and check it, then I'll cut my price down. I've always said we either beat them or meet them, and we are still going to do that, but I'm not going to check and try to be under them or try to be over them. If you don't want my prices, don't trade with me. And if you're not a regular Cas Walker customer, don't come anyhow. If you, don't, if you expect us cash, you want a, a bad check for you or a check and we don't know you. I don't want nobody but regular customers that we cash checks for for I haven't got time to run down all the history about you. Go to the bank if they'll cash it for you. Go to the bank if they'll cash it for you or go where you trade. I've got all the business I can take care of in cash and checks. For God's sakes, don't come to my store if you don't know the store manager or the night manager or someone. And I've got one night manager you won't know after the night. Say, we got some kind words for you people that shop at the Cas Walker supermarket. We've got our parking lots covered with security now. And we got some unkind words for you thieves. You that come in, we're going to have them whoop hell out of you and swear that you jumped on them. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the truth. The, un the thieves that come in, we're going to whoop hell out of you and prove that you jumped on them. The ones in the parking lot, we're going to keep a good security guard out there so a man's wife can get in the store and out without having her pocketbook tucked away from her. Then this, and anybody don't like that, anybody's invited to jump on me. I'm not afraid of any bastards. But, uh, but we got, we got people are stealing our women's pocketbooks, stealing in the store. I, I laid around the store all day yesterday, I lay around all half the night tonight. I'm so far ahead of myself, I thought it was Wednesday a minute ago. But anyhow, remember, you can go to a Chaz Walker supermarket and not take no chance of having your pocketbook taken away from you or having someone running up to your car to try to make a date with you or something or another. But you thieves that come inside, we're going, we're, we hope we've got it worked out where we're going to whip hell out of you and not put you in jail. For you can't put you in jail, they'll just put, they just put you in jail 10 days. We can work you up where you'll stay in the hospital 10 days. Now stay off of parking lot all together. Don't come in a store. There's somebody to jump on you if you come in a the store. They're allowed to beat hell out of you. And if they do, we'll swear and be damned that you jumped on them. So stay out of the store over there. They'd like to run me out of business and I'm going to, I have run them out of business. They won't be there. Now he's a good store manager but he run with a good crowd. Now this one runs with a different crowd all together. This runs with a good crowd all together. That may have been a good crowd he was running with, but 
Ed Reno is our store manager. They have, there's security in the parking lot. There's security in the store. Your wife won't have her pocketbook tucked away from her coming to the store. I'm sorry I can't put security in Montgomery Village, but I, I'm not over Montgomery Village. So let's have some picking and singing. Give me a hold. Give me a hold. Say, by the way, I th don't we go to a commercial? I guess I forgot where you're at. Now, the people in West Haven in Montgomery Village didn't like what I said about him. Tell them I go over there two and three times a day and they can get me to go, the, go into the parking lot. But I've got security in the parking lot so that our women can get in the store without having their pocketbooks took away. They can got security in the store because so my merchandise won't get away. And if one in the store gets caught, He's sure to get the hell beat out of him, and we'll prove beyond any shadow of a doubt he jumped on him. Now that we'd like to remind you, if you're not already a Chaz Walker customer, we want you to meet me at the Chaz Walker Cumberland Supermarket this coming Friday. I'll be there at 2 o'clock. Well, good morning. I'd just like to have been late before I come out Broadway to see if that dog gets froze to that water plug the other morning, if he was still there, but he's loose. But there's four females hanging around there with him. But uh, he's okay today. And the old woman the other day, I, I'm getting smarter every day I listen to television. On this abortion, that woman having so many abortions she talked in on that talk show and said they were having too much motel fever. <laughs> but I don't know anything about it myself. I'm dumb. <coughs> but anyhow, uh, I want two truck drivers. If they can't load a truck, they can't unload a truck, can't drive a truck, they can't stay sober, I don't want them. Well, here we are back again. And this is, is this supposed to be Monday morning when this be supposed to be taped, but I done so many things yesterday. I believe this is about that middle of the week. <laughs> now then, let's let's have the the finest group of entertainers I think there are living. We've got Mr. Thrasher standing here by me, and he's going to show you some Thrasher's Roast Master. And if Bug crawls over it. Two weeks after he puts it down. He's a dead bug. It may take him four days to die, but I guarantee you he'll die. Or if you put it on him today, he crawls over it, he'll, he'll die in four days. He'll die in two days. But he's done all of his recreation. is cut out today. He, he puts, it gets into it. We don't, it's all children. We don't have time to dress no women. We just stayed out of the women business all together. I put on a woman's soul show one time and sold $17.95 dresses for $3.95. And they were the women hid from behind every display we had of changing clothes. And I don't believe in that. If I got to go, if I got to go through that, I'll go to catch one. Now, anybody else? In around here, but haven't ever been to Cage One? You've got, you sure miss something. Sound, it looks more like to me a bunch of female, female hounds that's expecting a boyfriend than anything I ever seen. And the men will be there too. We don't, we don't worry about these little mamas' clothing. These little men clothing. It's these big mama clothing. Big. Pop of clothing, and we sell them too. I guarantee we sell them. Don't nobody be dumb enough to put in that kind of stuff. Don't nobody be dumb enough to put in that old slow moving stuff. Just tell them all go to Jazz Walkers. Anybody have it, he will. For he don't know any better. Now then, we have a, a fellow here that 
got imported here a while back. We sent him to the old country. <laughs> and we sent him with a one-way ticket, but damn, they didn't send him back. Say, that old boy does a good job. He played on the big radio stations all over the country. And we're glad to have him with us. He been play been playing up at Gatlinburg on a kind of a vacation and on a tour like. Whereabouts up at Gatlinburg have you been playing? Uh, Where? What's the name of it? War Bonnet Restaurant. War Bonnet Restaurant. War Bank Restaurant. War Bonnet Bonnet. War Bonnet, Bonnet. Bonnet Restaurant. That's right. I don't hear too good, but I hear a hell of a lot more than I ought to. <laughs> But <laughs> we got all kinds of women's heavy clothing. Now we've got, if a woman ain't got a whole lot of money, we've got some nice dresses you'd pay $29.95, $59.95. I don't guess any of them be over $19.95 or $17.95. But anyhow, Women wants to go to a room that's got a pink room. I'm going to make you a pink room out there next month. And you can go to a pink room and chart, try on those, those high price clothing. But honest to goodness, we're going to have to sell it out cheap and sell it for the state's going to take it for the, to make a clover leaf in there. How in the hell are they going to make a clover leaf there? I don't know. They've got more now than you get on or off of. But they're going to make another clover leaf and going to take our salvage store. And they're just a worrying me if they don't pay me half a million dollars for it. But anyhow, they'll be trying to buy 200000 something like that. So let's have uh, And by the way, let me remind you again that we may need a two good truck drivers must be sober one of them would be a long haul driver and he'll have a brand new truck and he'll be driving out of town the one i got's a good one but he don't want to drive for me for some reason or other the other one we got's a good one but he don't want to quit he don't want to have his whiskers shaved off or to quit drinking either one. I don't want nobody with whiskers, long hair, or nobody blows whiskey in my play face. Now this young man is up on the program here a minute ago. He does not drink. I'm not mad at nobody that drink. I just wish they wouldn't. And someone said they heard me a cussing on television. Nobody heard me cussing. I have never used God's name in vain half a dozen times in my life. And that was one time on the television here. And I had a right to use it for I got about all of my mouth, bottom teeth knocked out. But I started me up as a cheap Western shoe shop after she did it. But uh, <laughs> let's go on any further than that. We may talk too damn much. That's the trouble with me. I talk too much. I tell more than I ought to tell. Now then, let's have Rick. Red Rector that we got just got back from overseas, sent him over there to stay, and they paid his way and sent him back, said keep him. <laughs> Supermarkets. Say, you know, we've started just singing love songs again for we're all in love. And you know they've got a love center up at White Pine. It's some church group. And they say they take care of the poor. I don't know what they do. I wish they'd help me some, for I'm poor. I have to work like a dog. And the only thing we've got wrong. I have never seen one store that had got a bunch of telephone business in Cumberland, Kentucky. They call about everything. We ain't got no business of talking on a telephone. Our help ain't got no business. Our customers ought to come and see instead of calling. 
for goodness sakes, leave the telephone alone and come to the store. If you got to see your boyfriend, come to the store. If you got to see me, meet me up there this week from this coming Friday. So we've got everything just handled just exactly for you, but for God's sakes, quit using the telephone so much at Cumberland, Kentucky. I bet you they've never been to Hanging Limb, Tennessee. Hanging Limb, Tennessee, believe it or not, there's an old man hung over there. The tree still hangs there. The post office, it's about six miles out of Bonnor, Tennessee. And I've coon hunted there a lot of times. And the name of the little town in the post office is named Hanging Limb. And uh, again, I want you to show enough read lad. Look. What's that woman's name in the journal? Ann Landers. Lord, I tell you, she's been having some good business. She knows what she's talking about somehow or another. But who, who in the world would read Land, Ann Landers? But you'd be surprised what people do. Now, who would think I'd read her? I read her all the time to see how crazy people get. Say, let's have some picking and singing. So Blaise Cornett with her five-string banjo from uh, Rockford, Tennessee. Red Rector says he reads Ann Landers, Mr. Walker, every day. Watches Phil Donahue and reads Ann Landers. Do you read Ann Landers? No, I read her twin sister, right. uh, Dear Abby. Dear Abby. I read it the other morning and somebody wrote in. It's worse. Said their 92-year-old grandpa married a girl 21. Really? Said he didn't want to, he had to. <laughs> <laughs> After that, we better have a bad or two. Well, I'm going to do a hymn. Lord, I'm coming home, and I'm going to sing one verse lead, and I want you all to sing, and then, uh, help, and then I'm going to read the lead one, and I'm going to sing harmony with you. Five. I've wandered far away from God. Lord, I'm coming. that's open in white pine. What I said about it, I didn't mean to be making any light of it or nothing. Hmm. How wonderful it is to be here this morning with all my friends and neighbors. You don't need to see the eyes watching, just hear the voice. That's all they're looking for.
ครับแล้วเล่นมาThese are the Thomases. You've heard of the Kindles. This is the Thomases. This is father, and this is daughter, and your name is Carol, I Carol, believe. Carol, that's right. Okay. Uh, they're going to put your mark around over there, I suppose. You're going to sing from that side. Okay, you will unplug it. Unplug it. Just crawl right here. They just reached so far here, Ron. <laughs> all right. We'll, have, we'll be all set here in a minute. And uh, I believe that's about as far as you can get there. Right here. Better to leave him just like it is there. Uh, all right, here we are. The Thomases and, and Carol, I believe you said was your first name, right? right? Carol, I'll let you do the talking. Introduce your lovely daughter here to us and tell us what you're going to say, okay? All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're the Thomases from Greer, South Carolina. My name's Carol, and this is my daughter, Linda. And for our first song, we're going to and sing one of the Dave and Sugar songs, Knee Deep. people's got, but we got one dog we've never been beat with yet. So, Dee, if you are ready, take Mike in hand and sing real pretty. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that ain't too bad. From Newport, Tennessee, LFA Allen and Wilbur Hensley on the harmonica. LFA is going to sing a gospel number called Won't You Walk With Me, Lord? I got a dedication day on, on a dedication to uh, Ray Preston and Toots Birchfield in Newport, Tennessee. I want to dedicate this to D. Black and I want to dedicate to Harlan Green and Earl Moore in Newport. Won't you walk with me, Lord? Won't you walk with me? Won't you walk with me, Lord? Won't you walk with me? When I'm lonely, on my journey, I want Jesus to walk with me. You walk with me, Lord, won't you walk with me? You walk with me, Lord, won't you walk with me? When I'm lonely on my journey, I want Jesus to walk with me. You walk with Father, won't you walk with me? You rock with father, won't you rock with me? When I'm lonely on my journey, I want Jesus to rock with me. You rock with sister, won't you rock with me? You rock with sister, won't you rock with me? When I'm lonely on my journey, I want Jesus to rock with me. You rock with Brother, won't you rock with me? You rock with brother, won't you rock with me? When I'm lonely on my journey, I want Jesus to rock with me. Won't you rock with me, Lord? Won't you rock with me? Won't you rock with me, Lord? Won't you rock with me? When I'm lonely on my journey, I want Jesus to rock with me. Thank you. 
And Billy Al said hello to his, to everybody. I got it if I can just get it together. Dolly Parton. Oh, Dolly, I just didn't know she had me all fooled about her. I tell you what, she said the reason she undressed, they dared her to. Uh, good God, I'd have done that. <laughs> I was afraid to. <laughs> I'd have dared her a long time ago. But <laughs> this morning, visiting with us from Morristown, Tennessee. I believe uh, they were showing yes yesterday morning. This is their first visit. Yesterday was their first visit. So they're back again with us this morning. We welcome Rennie Strange, and she also has her guitar player, Randy Evans. Come on in, Rennie, and let's do a number for all the fine folks in and around Morristown and Hamlin County and over in that part of the country. We're glad to have you on the Cad Walker Farm and Home Hour, and I believe you did a Loretta Lynn song yesterday morning, something real good called Blue Kentucky Girl. So uh, this is your guitar player, Randy Evans, and what are you going to sing for us this morning? Sweet thing? Okay, this is Rennie Strange, and take the mic and take it for you. Thank you. I slipped out of the house about sundown. My mama was a washing her hair. You can bet your bottom dollar she'll come looking for me when she finds that I'm not there. And if she catches her sweet thing a running around, I know there'll be the devil to pay. She'll come blowing like a cyclone through that door and I know exactly what she'll say. Well, if anybody here saying sweet thing, I got a notion you'll be heading this way. When my sweet thing's out, Tom getting around, he finds a sandbox like this to play you better tell all your ballroom roses if my sweet thing does happen by you better take my advice cause if you bling more than twice you better have something in your eye i give my baby all my money on the day except the little she don't know that i got Oh, there's a cute little waitress at the corner cafe. She seems to like me quite a lot. Now, we were sitting in this back booth having a talk. She's believing every word that I said. When the door flew open, Mama walked in yelling loud enough to wake the dead. Well, Anybody here saying sweet thing? I got a notion he'll be heading this way. And when all sweet things out, Tom catting around, he finds a sandbox like this to play. You better tell all your barroom roses if my sweet thing does happen by. You better take my advice, and if you bling more than twice, you better have something in your eyes. Yeah, take old mom's advice. If you bling more than twice, you better have something in your Just the other day, you know, here about a year ago, a woman brought a $200,000 lawsuit against me and the Coca-Cola company for finding some kind of a rubber <laughs> in a Coca-Cola bottle. I don't know what them rubbers are used for. That's, but uh, <laughs> anyhow, she brought a $200,000 lawsuit and she went through my part the other day, and not a word was said about it. Now, I'm not going to let that lawsuit be withdrawn. I'm going to make them try it. For I want to know what in the world you do with them kind of darn things. A jury had given a woman a verdict because I had called her a prostitute. And someone asked me if I called her that, or she did. And I said, no, you're a damn whore. And uh, 
cost me three thousand dollars and it was cheap i'd have give it i'd almost give it do it again but anyhow when these jurors make decisions sometimes it's unusual sometimes you haven't lived a good life you ought to live sometimes you've been a dog thief you've stole horses i've never stolen no dogs i've never I've never made no moonshine whiskey. I've never no peddled no, no moonshine whiskey. I've worked like a dog all of my life. And uh, there ain't nothing wrong with working and saving you money. Why don't the old devil retire and quit? Why does he want to work all the time for? That's nobody's business. I want to work because I want to work. But here is a bad thing. Why in the world am I so bad you have to go out of town and get a judge to come in and try a case for me. You just want to need it. Right. Well, you're going to make nothing but a monkey out of me and everybody else. Get out there and I'll try to explain to you what to do. All right. Let's, let's get that new group in here, then that's, that's all we'll use them today. For we can't, not getting all of the entertainers on. Now, well, uh, did you want the Johnson Mountain Boys again? No. The Johnson Mountain Boys, did you want them again? Well, I tell you what, let's just get the whole group in the here. Group with all this Okay. Poker, where are you? <laughs> That's the group that is behind me here with all these groups. They had uh, said that they would take at least two minutes, Mr. Walker, for them to do their next number. So uh, let's give them. So it has to be two minutes. Can you give us a cue on two minutes? Okay. All right. That'll be. Uh, uh, are you boys about to sit up here? No, they they're not even set up yet, Mr. Walker. So I don't know. Uh, well, here we are. Here we go. <laughs> Come on in, fellas. Let's get ready. This this is a rock group, and they call themselves Poker, and they're all set up here to do us a number. And uh, we're gonna give you a couple of minutes here. If you're ready, take over. Let's show you. Okay, fine. You all have to be ready to go. We are now, well, we, the tapes done been rolling. You've messed up the program now. So we don't want you period anymore. See, you, you ought to be ready to play when you come. You got damn good instruments and got pretty good band, but you don't know how to do. I've been in the recording for 18 years. Well, damn it, you know, you've learned a hell of a lot in the last 10 years. These people are just people that don't understand, apparently. They're good entertainers, and they know exactly how to do on the television. And, uh, but they don't know how to, when to quit playing. That's the only thing I complained about. But, of course, they're, they're not going to be on or not going to ever.